hope you've had a good Saturday and we'll have a good Saturday night right now. Thank you for joining us on After Dark. Tonight, three members of the Non-Stop Dancers, good group, had a hit just a couple of months back and they've got a brand new single around. The co-writers of a stage show that's currently showing in Sydney, it's called Ha Ha Ha, Performing Humans. They'll be in a little later. We'll have members of the Venetians and then we'll have a live performance from Grammy Award winning American blues star John Hammond. He is fantastic, so hang in for that. Now, let's kick it off with the church, and then we'll go with Le Lloyd Cole, we'll make that, and the commotions. You're on After Dark, stick with us, should be a lot of fun tonight. Oh no, mobbing me, non-stop dancers, we have three members here, we've got Larry and Jane and Karen, thank you for coming in, and it's good to see you again, Laz. You were watching the Newcastle Telethon last weekend, eh? Very nice. This is the album that we saw, right? But, da-da, this is the one they get in Japan. How long ago has it gone out in Japan? What is it about? 28th of February. So it's a uh, month, uh, month yeah. or so. Is yeah. there any reaction up there? Is it? Haven't heard anything yet, but... Uh, Japan's a long way away. <laughs> <Why? Yeah, it's laughs> pretty what early. What is that? They, they say that area is fairly hard because there's not so much radio airplay as such, is there? No. So um, how do you promote a, an album? Well, nobody seems to know except the Japanese. Mm, they've got their Excellent. own way yeah, of they, yeah. they know they it. They rely do. a lot on magazines. They have lots of glossy uh -huh. photos and magazines. And I guess and tele like uh, videos. Yeah, so videos, one yeah. Out there. Okay, the words inside, the Japanese edition. Have you checked these just to make sure they've got all the lyrics correct? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we went through the other day. And <laughs> yeah, you worked Skim on all that. A couple of commas. Yeah, I better go yeah, away and go get in. <laughs> but some of it's in English, which was surprising to me. All your names and all the stuff about the band are in English. Well, as soon as they get yeah, to the lyrics, they That's actually the, uh, the Australian inner sleeve on the outside, on and then they side, put yeah, their own Japanese one on the, on the inside. So they've fixed up the, the middle yeah. so that people know where they're going. All right, who produced that clip that we just had a look at? Craig Monaghan. Can you give me a bit of, bit of background on him, where he came from, what he's done? He, what was he doing? Yeah, he's done, he's a, done a roast must, tattoo. Yeah, tats. Yeah. Did he do the flames, the freedoms? Flame? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the one yeah. where Angry's head comes through the roof of the car, that one? Uh, might have been the one just back before. Did yeah. the real life? No, I don't think he did with the, the latest. With the big flamethrower in the middle. Right. And so where did you shoot that? In a big warehouse. Whereabouts? Red Balmain. Flame, wasn't it? Balmain. Balmain. Yeah. Balmain. Uh -huh. I don't think I asked you when, Larry, you were on last time. I think it might have been Sounds. Where this name came from, Non-Stop Dancers. Are you all dance fanatics or something? <laughs> um, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell me. It's from well, Derek and Clive. Have you heard of Derek and Clive? Yes, you have. It's one of the skits <laughs> off that. In there. Yes, oh, yeah, we might move right along. Okay, <laughs> well, it's fairly late at night, so it doesn't really <laughs> yeah. matter. Now, the guy, you know, the mascot we spoke about last time when you were on John Sons Stitch. And remember now, yeah. What happened to Stitch? He got stitched up. Um, well, <laughs> he had a bit of a trouble with a, uh, a major uh, pop. Tell me the figure. truth. Tell, it's fine. <laughs> oh, well, him and I've I kind of had a bit of a run in, actually, backstage. Now, this is a mascot that you take on stage. John Stitch. John Stitch. Gets into well, a run up. He uh, had a run in, a run in with, with Mark Hunter backstage in Brisbane when we were touring around up there. What did he do? Um, well, nobody's quite sure, but John ended up in a bit of a mess. And Mark decided Mark to punch someone out. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and he picked on a dummy. But they're, they're the best of friends now, you wouldn't believe it. You know? Mark, that's amazing. So is Stitch going to come back into the show, or oh, yeah. have you lost him completely? Well, he could have come oh, tonight, he, he, but he's He got out. fixed up. He was in convalescence for a couple of weeks. Also, I believe that this dummy had his head knocked off one night. Yeah, Newcastle. Yeah. Who pitched it? Um, very naughty person, I suppose. And uh, Yeah, they also the nicked a car. They went a bit loopy, I think. Yeah. They pinched a car, they pinched his head, and then they went screaming around the car park with his head out the window. And uh, we got his head back. Might though. have been Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a romper room show. Yeah, <laughs> they were out romping. They all right. had nappies The on. guy who did it looked like he was in the Texas Chainsaw Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mark actually, uh, um, sorry, uh, John actually came back with blood stains on his face. Yeah, this could have been a symbolic, continuation yeah. of whatever the guy was uh, yeah. thinking or uh, right. what envisaging he was at the time. Yeah. Could you tell me how you got the record deal? It was a little strange, apparently. came about in a well, different way to the norm. We had um, signed up with Castle Music, mm -hmm. publishing contract, and Barry Chapman had um, decided that he'd put the money into recording the album first because he'd been and around. This is Barry Chapman from Castle, from Music, Castle Music, a publishing company, yes. not a recording man no, as no. such, and ex of 2SM and yes. other places, yes. right? So mm -hmm. Barry decided. And so to yeah, because at that time uh, it was a bit difficult getting a record com uh, company into yeah. doing the album. So we did that. And um, we did that on a mobile, and then took that around 
one, with the finished Got product. a great sound. Now, yeah. Barry did it on a mobile. Where was that mobile? At Barry's house. Um, Where is that? Talks River. River. Just you outside Are going to do any uh, more Windsor. recordings out there? Continue um, on with the sound well, that just... Yeah, no, no. It's, everything's sort of open at the moment. We haven't decided what we're going to do next, where we're going to do it. Right. Um, but uh, probably at least we'll probably do some demos there anyway. Uh-huh. It was a lot at more relaxed. You, sorry, darling. Oh, I beg your pardon. It was Definitely. a lot more relaxed up there because yeah. you didn't have to go into a res recording studio in the city, which is often a bit sort of... You just feel nice and cool yeah. and you yeah. wander in and, and it came out that way. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know Barry had it in him. <laughs> God, well, I had a bit of help from Spencer. Congratulations. Lee, yeah. Oh, Spencer yeah, Lee was there. Yeah, oh, Spencer well, that Lee. might have helped, but Spencer's not a bad bloke. <laughs> Listen, if we can have you maybe come back in with us a little later, because we've got a stack of guests tonight, so come and have a drink or two and yeah. uh, pop back in later on. Rolling. We'll talk some more.